Hello guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Portal Knights. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the awesome support on the Portal Knights series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So something I forgot to do last episode was to craft the spells that I had originally set out to do, and I learned something. If you go into the map, you can see everything that you can get from each area. And it looks like the Crimson Woods only offer copper ore. So we weren't going to find any emeralds there anyway. But alas, let's make our spell. I crafted up a little bit of that quartz dust. And we're ready to go with lightning zap. So here we go. All right. And as far as healing is concerned, we would need some verdant emerald dust, which we do not have. And in rage, we need some flame ruby dust, which we do not have. So let me go ahead and get that. And I don't even know how to use a spell yet. It looks like it went to... Where did it go? Did it go into my inventory? It looks like it. So lightning zap, skill 10, um, 20 MP, 8 cooldown. So I'm thinking if we just... Equip lightning zap, we could hit something with it. I guess it's time that we test it, right? Let's see. There's these blue guys around here. Looks like a perfect opportunity to test it. We're going to need a little bit of this. Oh, wait. It did not do it. Do you have to be, like, in range? Maybe. Oh, the lightning blast did kind of work there. It didn't seem as powerful as I thought it might be. The cooldown seems a little bit weak. I don't know. I'm going to have to mess around with it. Uh, let's try it again, shall we? If I just got right up to one and zapped it, what would happen? Ah, huh? So you can kite like this too, which is pretty good. Nice! Nice. Okay, I'm starting to kind of like this. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, that's the second ability for our arsenal. It's like a power hit, which would be kind of good if you were playing like hit and run with one of those things like I was trying to do at first when I shouldn't have entered that dungeon <laughs> last video. But it was fun, and we got to see what happens when I die and stuff, so that's interesting. Uh, it's always fun to see people die, right? Well, not it, not IRL, but you know what I mean. Okay, so throughout looking at some of the recipes, I also noticed there's some pretty interesting uh, recipes that we can look at now. Um, there's also chest too, which seems pretty interesting. Uh, but there's a mining drill here. And instead of making picks all the time, that's probably a good idea. There's also a lumberjack axe that we can make with copper and wood. Um, so that's going to be pretty good. And a mining claw which requires refined electro quartz and copper. So, effectively mines gems and other magical blocks, whereas the mining drill effectively mines dirt. So, I'm thinking that instead of dirt, we would want to definitely get the mining claw. We probably want all of them, right? All three tools. So, that's going to require one copper bar, two copper bars, three, four, five all together. And refined electro quartz, I don't know if I have enough electro quartz for everything. In fact, I'll probably have to get a little bit more. Uh, let's see here. If we look in our backpack, we actually have three. So we need a little bit more. I think I need to make a few more chests as well. So I'll tell you what, the easiest thing to do would probably be to make the axe. So we can get enough wood for some chests and get some storage online. So I think that is going to be number one priority here. All right, so all we need is three wood to get started with this axe. Let's do that really quickly. Uh, I shouldn't have any wood. It's too bad we can't break down those refining blocks. Also, I know I should be replanting some of these things, but it'll come. It'll come. I'll start. Re I'll replant in mass. As I go, it just seems like it's a little bit tedious for now. Okay, I should have enough wood to do this now correctly. Uh, let's make the axe like I said I would. And with that, we can start really harvesting some wood here. We could just go to town. Doesn't look like I have any space left. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's look for all the seeds in my inventory right now. And let's see. Pumpkin seeds. Emerald tree seeds. Spring tree seeds. Wheat seeds. Ruby tree seeds. 
I think that's all the seeds, and that's as low as my voice will go for now. Uh, Alright, so we have all of these seeds to plant. Pumpkin seeds first. Seems like a very nutritious way to start. Uh, it doesn't look like any of our other stuff has, has, has placed yet. We'll place these pumpkins, though. Actually, let's place in this. It's still a little bit hard to manage here because I'm just not used to it. Alright, we've got that. We've got another one of these. This is just going to be our little garden here. It's going to be chock full of goodness. Uh, there's a couple other seeds here. Wheat. And ruby tree seeds. Now, these are going to grow where... This is going to be pretty rough. They're just going to grow straight up here. But that's good. That uh, eliminated a lot of inventory space for me. And to tell you the truth, I need some... Um, I definitely need some wheat here. I wonder if the scythe allows you to get plants faster. I thought it might have just been a weapon. But you know what? It may be easier to harvest stuff with it too. I'm going to have to take a look at it. Alright. Now that we have all of this, we can actually plant the, replant the wheat. Starting to feel a little bit like farming simulator. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, why can't I plant this right here? Oh, there we go. I'm just still trying to get the block, the blocks fleshed out, you know. And we have a few wheat to eat now, which is good. I uh, suppose we can cook that later or something like that. All right. Now we got the axe. Oh, is it because? Ah, uh, I see. Okay, this is my backup one. Let's do that. And our old one, I don't know what we could do with it, so I'll just trash it. Um, it kind of keeps it. That's kind of cool. Uh, we need this for sure. We also need torches on the bar. And I don't think the stone pickaxe, we already... Let's use this one up first. And now we can take the axe. And that can fit. Let's see. It's going to fit right here. Let's take a look at that side too. Didn't we see? Yeah, the side, the copper side is actually a melee weapon from what it looks like. All right, to heck with it. Let's get some trees harvested. I guess this little patch here will do. I'm going to place a torch here just to give me some light. There we go. And I'm going to start right here. Uh-oh, wait, wait, where? Where? We do need blue gems too. Let's wait. Let's wait. I really need some wood. They just sound... Oh, no! I thought they just sounded like they were a little close. They were really close. I like to fight in third person better. Take a lightning bolt, sucker. That's what I'm talking about. That felt really good, y'all. Starting to feel proficient. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can rip through these trees pretty fast like this. I like this. I like how you don't have to aim at the specific stump, too. Good on you, game developers, for that. Like, nobody likes to aim at stumps. You know? And there are no floating logs and stuff like that. It just makes it just easier to harvest. If you're going to have to harvest something, you might as well do it just like that. You know, you're already clicking. Why do you have to aim and all that crazy stuff? Okay. All the trouble went away here? No, not quite. Yup. Alright, got some blue portal shards. Really cool. Need to go everywhere where there's wood. <laughs> and just gain some. And then we'll uh, we'll replant as we go, I guess. We can always go to that emerald forest too. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> the morning sun has vanquished a horrible night, I suppose. Alright. Let's see. How do we get there? I do wish there was a way to sprint. And I have not discovered a way, unless there's something that I'm overlooking. I haven't, uh... Ouch! This thing got mad. I got another egg for it, though. I haven't fought many of those things. 
getting the green slimes away. You guys give portal shards, don't you? They do. I know they do. Okay. We go for a little bit more wood here, and we should be good to go with quite a few of the quite a few of the rest of the materials that we need. I am very excited to get into that dungeon that we died in too to see what's really in there. Like that seems excellent. Stop short. All right, how about these bushes? Yeah, the axe seems to harvest the cotton in the bushes a little bit faster too, which is really neat. Also, how many berries can we hold? I'm just clearing the forest. Ow! I didn't mean it. Ooh, you. Take a lightning bolt. Alright. Let's get this last two trees. Okay. And I'll be on my way. Where, why am I not getting any of these wood? Uh, am, I, am I full again? Already? I am. I am. Uh, let's see, alabaster bush seeds. We'll go ahead and plant some of them. We might as well. This will be the alabaster spot, so to speak. Okay, did I miss any of those logs? I don't think so. I'm about to use a bunch of them, though. We're going to make some chests. Huh. Another thing is, I really feel like making a bridge from there to there. I have plenty of blocks saved up. Let's just do that. Alright, how does this work exactly? If we did... Just like this. What if I hold shift? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> it, the, the blocks do stand up. So there's no way to crouch. Let's check. I think... There's slimes around here. I gotta be careful. Um, controls. Interact, switch, view, lock, use item, dis... Oh, you can dismantle? Oh, no. <laughs> that's that's just destroying something. I got you. Uh, scroll selection through action, switch, view, first and third. Uh, temporary porn mode. That's interesting. Hmm. I guess not. I guess there's no way to crouch or to sprint. Okay, well, no problem. I still want to make a bridge, so let's do it. That way I can go back and forth here from the house easily. Well, guys, it's nothing fancy, but it's a bridge, and I can get back and forth. All right, let's look into this chest, especially probably this level 2 chest. Can I do that yet? Uh, or in fact, can I upgrade a chest while I'm already in it? It does not look like it. Alright, furniture. Chest 2 requires, uh, iron bars. Maybe we don't need that. Okay. Regular chest just requires wood, and I didn't even realize that we needed copper. Son of a gun. Hmm. Okay. So, there was a little bit of copper around here, but I think most of it was in the second area. There are cop there's copper in the third area too, but that's a little bit risque, don't you think? So, well, not the the emerald fields had copper, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so we'll have to go to yeah, this area. Copper, we need electro quartz as well. We might as well go here. All right. We do not have enough steel for the um the pickaxe. So we're going to need a little bit of copper and some quartz. Just to get a chest to hold more stuff. It's kind of crazy, huh? All right. There is... I'm going to try to get some quartz here, but mostly let's go for copper. And we're going to go in this area. We got this. At least we get it relatively quickly. Did I get it? Oh, no. You know what? To heck with it, you guys. I'm going to throw away a little bit of stuff here. I can't just store it all infinitely. All right. Um... Let's see here. We don't need the dirt. We can really get dirt anytime. We have so much wood. It's really messing us up. Um, I think... I'm going to go ahead and throw away this Mystic Armor Cape because we're not going to use it. The cape that we have currently is better. And honestly, all I'm going to try to get here is copper. Spring tree seeds. We can use some agave if we start getting hurt. 
Yeah, nothing else I really, really want to throw away right now. I can. I just don't want to. Let's just get some copper and get out of here. And we should be good. Okay. We'll go inside here. I know I've been in here before, and I kind of cleaned it out. <laughs> um, honestly, I should probably keep that. I should place it down to where somewhere where I might be fighting. Alright, it still hit me, that sucker. I shouldn't have took all the lanterns out. Alright, that'll at least give me some peace of mind here. Okay. What did I get? Blue portal bone shards. Okay. Some XP. I don't see anything else, man. Dang it. I guess I'm gonna have to go looking for copper elsewhere. It's too dark in here. Uh... I'll look around just a little bit before I go. Could go further in. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is gonna be nasty. Zapped! Alright, am I clear? Nope, not quite. Nice. Whew, getting kind of rough. All right, where are for out that there, copper? Did I even say that way right? Wherefore art thou, copper? Huh, I don't see any copper. I don't guess there's any in here. Okay, maybe we should just look on the surface like we did for the quartz and stuff. Because there's no quartz in here anyway, so it'd probably be beneficial for me. Is that copper? Nope, just dirt. Okay. It's easier to see out here anyway. <laughs> Big time, huh? Alright, there's a bad guy. We're not worried about you, bad guy. Alright, what we need to find is... I see some copper up there, I believe. Yeah! A good bit of it, too. Any bad guys? Of course there's bad guys, but not a lot. Uh-uh. Oh, I'm getting pretty quick with that lightning, though. And zap! Just in time. Oh, I thought he was dead. He should have been dead. And level five, baby! All right, that means we can get uh, another level up in a skill, I believe. Is that what it is? That might help us a little bit when it comes to hanging in that bigger area, too. All right, I got a lot of copper here. Well, I'm getting a lot of copper. What can I throw away? Let's first let's level up. And let's see, mining elements, mining elegance reduces the durability loss when mining, or stone eater increases the mining damage by 15. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Let's go Stone Eater. Okay, next is Royal Knowledge. Increased experience points gained from defeated enemies. That's pretty good. Okay, did we get all of that copper? We're about to be able to throw away this thing. Yeah, it's pretty much done now. Okay, let's throw this one away. And we'll load our backup. Very good. Yep. Very nice. Okay, a little bit more copper here. We're also going to need a little bit of quartz. And I see some right there. So we need to ref we need some of that dust. And we also need refined quartz. One more refined quartz, I believe. And a little bit of dust. And the rest, the, the copper is going to naturally be for... Um, to get some of that... Um, some of those chests online. Okay, let's take away, what can we throw away here? Cotton seeds, I want to keep those. You know what? Let's, I don't know what we need the animal bones for. We can combine them, that's perfect. Okay, that'll give us the quartz, nice. Uh, what else is there? I just saw something spawn in over there. There's some bad guys around. We do have to watch those. Let's go for this last bit of electric quartz right here. 
gets so dangerous at night. Shoot! Nice. All right. Uh -uh. Nice for the portal stone. These things so hurt. Yeah, at least they're only level two. Or whatever. Oh, wow, there's another one. Okay. We handled that pretty darn good. I would, if I do say so myself, I wish they'd give some sort of, like, uh, I don't know. I wish they'd give some sort of rare drops, maybe. A weapon or something? That would be cool. Okay, it's really dangerous over here now, though. Um, maybe I could just switch to third person. That's easier to look at there. A few more. And some XP too. Nice. Got it all. Um, okay, anything that I'm missing here? Just using my, my high ground here to see if I see any. There's copper over there. Oh, there's safe copper over there though. Let's do that. Let's go for the safe copper on the side here. I think that'll be a lot easier to deal with. Backpack full. Yeah, I realize that. Some of this stuff that I don't need, though. Oh, is that... Was that some railroad tracks down there? Oh, no. I thought I saw some railroad tracks. I was about to say, is that a dungeon that I don't know about? Or some sort of mine shaft that was hidden? Alright. After this little vein, it should be it, you guys. Should be good to go. Oh, there's some quartz here, too. I hear him. I'm just I'm just ignoring him, trying to get some work done. There's two more pieces I think I'm gonna need. And almost done. <laughs> it's like it keeps going. Uh oh. guys now yep easy I'll tell you what I overstayed my welcome let's get out of here let's get out of here we got enough goods we are goods to go okay so let's see all the stuff that we can craft from here also we can use our handy dandy bridge that we made pretty neat I do think so. Hey, you looking at me? No, I'm not gonna try to fight you. Yep, stay down there. I get nervous because I still hear him. Okay, now we can make chests, right? Furniture, chests. Ah, we won't waste too much, you guys. Good. Oh no. We even have to put something down to do that. Um, blue portal stones. Nope, we do have to. We have to drop something, I believe. No, I didn't mean to do that. We have to drop something. Backpack. Um, let's just do the mushroom seed. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Pioneer's flag. We can place that too. Let's just place that thing. Let's place the Pioneer's flag back here. That's good. <laughs> Alright, at least we can get the chest now. Okay, now that we have the chest, we can put it in the hot bar and we can place it. And we can also make another one. Can we? Furniture? Yes, one more. Okay, that is going to give us quite a bit of space, I do think. And we'll be able to sort these things out. I don't know if I'm going to sort them right now, but 
Uh, we'll just dump a lot of stuff in and I can sort them later. Backpack. There we go. Okay. And let's just frantically dump, shall we? Uh, we have... Let's see, we could put all these seeds and stuff and food. I'm gonna keep stuff that I normally regularly use uh, with me. Water, cotton, eggs, I don't need those. These seeds, I don't need them. Is that full now? I don't even know. Yeah, it appears that it is full. Okay, let's check out this. All right. And we can move this mana potion for now. We can move this portal shards. I can make some more agave. Let's go ahead and dump the agave out. And the water, because I don't even know what it's for yet. Potions, I mean, I know it's for potions, but... I'm going to go ahead and put these on the bar, too. I should have used those earlier, and I didn't even realize... I keep forgetting, there's so many new things, you guys. All right, so let's take a look at this. We have blue portal stones that we can craft up because we don't need them for pretty much anything else, right? Uh, we have a lumberjack axe, copper pickaxe we already made. Oh no, we made the stone pickaxe. This is effectively mined stones, ores, coals, and metal. Mining claw effectively mines gems and other magical blocks, I see. Um, okay, so let's craft one of these. Okay. And Mining Claw will need two copper bores for. Do we not have enough? Oh, we need to make those refined. I got you. Okay. So let's see here. Refined. I think I need to do those at the altar, right? Yep. Refined electric quartz. We'll craft one. Very good, and we'll also make some electric quartz dust, because we'll need some eventually. Um, anything that we're missing from here? No, not at this time. And the mining claw will also need two copper bars, which we can do in this refining forge. One, two, how many can we make? Only three. Okay, but well, that's a good start. Alright, we did get our altar finished. Uh, Electro Quartz Dust, good. And what was it? There was Lightning Zap, Enrage, yeah, we're not do any of that. Healing Potions require water and berries. I got you. That's pretty good to know. Uh, and we do want to do some more torches. Plenty more. Alright, I used all the cotton that I had. <laughs> but we made some. Uh, we might as well get that water and make some healing potions. I don't even know where we get water from. I don't know where we've been, we had been getting it. Uh, do you make it here? Yeah. Miner, healing potions, water. Wait, did I not get? Oh, wait. I see. <laughs> I don't know why. I just keep thinking that because this is already open, it's selected. Got you. Uh, let's see. Minor healing potions. Where's the minor mana? We would need agave for that. Huh. Interesting. So agave would restore mana? Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to just stick with healing for a little while. And the next batch of water I get, I guess I'll point to that. Okay, now we have healing potions available. Plenty of them. Did we put some up right here already? No, we only put a mana potion up right now. Healing potions, good. Um, I'm guessing the only thing left is that claw, right? So... Mining claw, why? Two copper bars, ah, we didn't pick those up yet, my bad. Now we got them. Mining claw. Done. Now all we would need is one more copper bar to make a uh, to make a mining drill. I don't even know if we'll need it, but... Also, what does the sharpening stone do? Oh, okay. Sharpening stones only cost a stone block, and they restore durability of the current active item. So you don't have to throw stuff away. Man, I just need to read more, you guys. That's all there is to it. 
<laughs> I mean, I really do. I just overlook so much stuff, apparently. Okay, so now we have a few things that we can replace here, right? We have... Let's open the inventory. We have a copper pickaxe that we can put in that place. We have a mining claw that we can put on the hot bar as well. Uh, the rest is the electro quartz dust, which we'll need later. But we do have some blue portal stones here. And I think... I'm going to use that. Let's go ahead and throw this away because we're not going to need that. Organize my inventory just a little bit. And I guess what we'll do, guys, next time is maybe we'll kill a few monsters and try to go to that third area or that other spot, that other gate from the, well, the fourth area and try to go for that other spot or other gate that we had available to us in that area. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time.